Alright, so I'm making this video here real quick, recording both screens at once, so it's going to look a little funky because they're different resolutions. But to help, to show you, uh, hopefully help someone with an issue that has literally caused me at least two hours of troubleshooting today, and potentially more without realizing it since I had to re-render files that I thought were broken in Premiere Pro. I was working on a cinematic unboxing of my new laptop that I got from a new sponsor I'm going to be working with soon. Except when I went, like I worked on it last night, I worked on it this morning. So when I went to open it this afternoon, video files weren't working. So I've opened my project here and I'm going to pan in over on the timeline to just kind of give you a hint of what the problem might actually be. And I'm going to try to import footage over here from my second monitor. I'm going to drag the footage in. What? It's only importing audio. Well, that's odd. It's only letting me bring in audio. And if, but yet you see video frames over here in the project manager. And if I open it up in the source monitor, there's video frames. If I look at the file information over here, it reads a video resolution. Won't let me import it. Not from a single file. So, like I said, the first time I did this, these are all After Effects exports. In the Cineform codec, it was with this file called Ubuntu Button. And I originally exported it in Cineform, because that's the codec I use and then dragged it in and none of it was working and I couldn't figure out why. And you look here, any imported file suddenly only now has audio icon next to it. Even up here, which is my audio icon next to it. Even up here, which is footage from my Panasonic GH4 that I'm currently renting. I can preview the file, but if I drag it onto the timeline, I only get audio. I was like, okay, so I transcoded the Cineform file from After Effects in Adobe Media Encoder for just straight to Cineform again. The same result. The audio icon can only import audio. Okay, so I exported it as Lagrith AVI. Totally different codec, totally different container. Surely that'll fix it. Shows video. Can't import video. Okay, so that's a good half an hour at least. Delete these two. I read online that if you use this note, the sticky note looking item, or button that says new item, drag it on there, it'll make it work. It makes a sequence from that file, and you can see it reads, or it, it's a sequence, you can see there's video on this timeline now, and it, it has the video icon. Okay, so I'll just use that sequence. Let's drag that onto the timeline. It's basically the file. Just audio. Okay, let's try the source file again, since it now has the video icon. Nothing at all. I don't need audio from any of these clips, so this is completely useless to me. Very frustrating. And then I even went so far as to Make an entirely new project. Go to new. Well, that's a new sequence. Does the same thing in new sequence. But if I make a new project entirely, which Premiere is not cooperating at the moment, new project. Uh, we'll just call this test. I'll just throw it in the same folder. And I already steps I took to try was I also cleaned the media cache from the options here. I went to edit media and cleaned the cache database, thinking maybe it screwed up on import, as I have that happen a lot sometimes with QuickTime files. Nope. And then if I drag in a file now to this test sequence, make a new sequence, blah, 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 drag it onto the timeline, still only audio. I thought something was totally borked in my installation. And they're going to tell me, oh, you need to reinstall Windows or something. But no, I, I figured out what it is. So I had you look at the timeline earlier. And you notice, once it happened in the first project or sequence, it happened in new sequences or new projects as well. Over here, there's two different places where your track has to be highlighted on the timeline in order for it to work. You have your normal track selection, which selects which track you import it to, but then you also have this source patching option, which also has to be selected in order for a video file to be imported. Now, if I drag it on there, it's probably not going to work because of my luck. Nope, it works now. But it didn't before. And I specifically ran the zoom camera, and you see now it moved up to video one for some reason. You can actually drag it to a different track, which can cause you even more issues. But the reason I panned over this area at the start of the video was these didn't even show when I first opened my project. So I wouldn't have even known, like, I would have caught that because that's something people were suggesting online as well was okay. Maybe your track isn't selected and you need that. That'd be really stupid, but I checked. And it was. Nothing was showing here until after I played around a little bit. So and, and so at some point I misclicked apparently and disabled that. I just 
disabled it entirely or something. But for that to then apply to every new se- new project entirely, like not just new sequences, but new sequences and new projects that I make, doesn't make any sense. So this one highlight thing, which again, didn't even show up when I first opened any of my projects or made, a, made an entirely new project, has caused me two hours of troubleshooting trying to just get video formats of any codec at all to import into Premiere. What the hell? Seriously. But that, that if you're having an issue with no video files importing to Premiere, that's something I recommend checking. Open up your sequence, play with your timeline a little bit, see if that shows up, and if so, make sure it's highlighted, because apparently mine wasn't. Hope this was remotely helpful for you, or if it was just interesting to watch. Uh, hopefully this is something that isn't going to happen after future updates or something. I sent a barrage of tweets uh, towards Adobe's way. We'll see if anything comes of it. And otherwise, thank you for watching. See you next time.